Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to make something like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D modeling program that anyone can use. We can use FreeCAD both for hobbies and commercially without any limitations. We simply download FreeCAD, install it, and we can already create our own 3D models. Before we start, just a quick note. You'll find links to my FreeCAD courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now I will switch to FreeCAD and show you how to do something like this. Of course, this part is just an example, and the information I will give you in this lesson can be useful in many different projects. I will create a new parametric part, and here I will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We will create the base of this part. We will create a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeters. Okay, and we will create a solid by extruding the sketch to 10 millimeters. Now I will create another sketch on this face. I select this face, choose Create Sketch, and here I will draw a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters so that the center of the circle lies at the origin of the coordinate system. I close the sketch. Now, to get the part I showed you at the beginning, we will use an operation that creates a solid by sweeping a sketch along a path. We have the sketch we want to sweep, now we will create the sketch of the path along which we will sweep this profile. We select create sketch and we will create the sketch of this path on the XZ plane. Now I select the polyline drawing command and draw a polyline like this so that the first segment of the polyline lies on the Y axis. And I draw the second segment of the polyline like this. I click the right mouse button twice to end the polyline drawing command. I select the create external geometry command. I indicate this edge of the solid as reference geometry. I select the view section command to switch to section view. I click the right mouse button to cancel the create external geometry command. I select the end point of the polyline, select the reference geometry and choose the coincidence constraint. Next, I select this line, press the D key to activate dimensioning, and enter 50 millimeters as the dimension value here. I click the right mouse button to cancel this command. I select the command that allows creating a fillet in the sketch and click on this point to create a fillet here. I click the right mouse button to cancel this command. I select this fillet, press the D key and enter, for example, 20 millimeters as the radius value. The dimensioning command is active. We can dimension this line, or we can do it in such a way that we cancel the dimensioning command by clicking the right mouse button, select this line and this line, and choose the equality constraint. We close the sketch. Now we will create an extrusion of this sketch along this path. We select the profile sketch, that is the sketch we will sweep along the path, and select the additive pipe operation. Then we click the object button and indicate the path sketch. And we have something like this. That is how the basic operation works that creates a solid by sweeping a sketch along a path. But using this operation, we can create a sweep along a path using intermediate profiles. We can create as many such intermediate profiles as we need, but here in this case, I will create one intermediate profile and it will be the end profile. Therefore, I delete this operation. I select this operation in the operation tree and simply delete it. I turn on the visibility of the path sketch and the profile sketch. Now I will create another sketch at the end point of this path. To do this, I need to create a construction plane. I will create a plane that lies at this point and is perpendicular to this line. To do this, I select the point, hold control and select the line and choose the create a datum plane command. An error appeared here, but don't worry about it because we have to select the normal to edge option here. If we select this option, everything is fine. Click OK and we have a construction plane that lies at the end point of the path and is perpendicular to this part of the path. Now we will create a sketch on this plane and draw a circle here so that the center of this circle lies at this point. We will create a circle, for example, with a diameter of 2 millimeters. Some errors appeared here. I clicked the right mouse button to cancel this command. These errors can appear sometimes. I will remove these constraints here. Okay. 
we have a circle that is placed freely, it is not dimensioned, and we will simply do it manually. I select dimensioning, indicate the circle, and enter 2 mm as the diameter here. I click the right mouse button to cancel the dimensioning command. I select these two points and choose the coincidence constraint. Now everything is OK. I rotated the view a bit here. We can do this while sketching. It is acceptable. And here everything is OK now. It seems in this case the automatic constraints didn't work. Some errors appeared here and sometimes something like this can happen. That is so you know how to deal with it. And here the solution to this situation was simply to apply the constraints manually. We close the sketch and I turn off the visibility of this plane. I select this plane in the operation tree and press space. Now like this, we select the profile sketch. We choose the additive pipe operation. We click the object button. We select the path along which we will sweep this profile. And then we have a section here where we select transformation mode and we select multi-section. Then we click add section and indicate the intermediate profile. In this case, we indicate this profile, but as I mentioned, we can have more such intermediate profiles. We click OK, and in this way we created such a solid. As you can see, it is a very simple operation to use, but it can give really interesting effects. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing.